Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now, a little while back on the channel, I unboxed this. This is the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, brand new GoPro camera. And I unboxed this and then I also did a, what I would term quite an inventive test of the video capabilities of this. Not the last time I'm gonna use it, but I just put it in different situations just to give you an idea on how this would cope with different lighting conditions and different sorts of footage. So if you haven't seen those two videos, I'll leave links in the video description. It's a really nice action camera and GoPro have done really well in updating what was already a good action camera anyway. Now I ordered in some accessories to go with this. There was one accessory that was actually out of stock and that was a, a little clip that allows you to put it on a headband but also allows you to actually mount it on a sort of cap as well. That was out of stock. But I've got three accessories in and I wanna show you them today. Now, the first one isn't a brand new accessory, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. And that is the skeleton housing. Now, I wanna show you the difference between this and the housing that I've got on the GoPro at the moment. Let's just cut this open like so. Now, I think GoPro have been a little bit cheeky actually, the way they've done this. The Hero 3 Plus Black Edition was said to be like 20% smaller, as well as different claims about battery life, sharper optics, etc. When in fact, the camera is pretty much identical in size to the previous one. What they've done is they've actually reduced the bulk of the housings. Now, the skeleton housing is advertised on their website as being Hero 3 and Hero 3 Plus compatible, and yes it is, but when you order it, what you get is the old Hero 3 skeleton housing. I think that's a bit cheap of them to do it that way, because once I've put my new Hero 3 Plus Black Edition in here, the new skeleton case that I just unpacked, it's gonna be the same size as the previous one. So I've lost that 20% gain in compactness. Uh, you can see there, the difference in size is quite a bit taller. The difference between the two, if I show you on the sides here, this case is completely closed and sealed with the little button pushed through. This has got an opening. The same on the back, there's two openings on the back of this housing, whereas this is completely sealed. And then on this side, you've got access to what's underneath that little port, which includes the ability to have this mounted and also have perhaps an external microphone plugged in. So I think, oh, and obviously the, the catches are different on the top, so it gives it away straight away. This is the new version case, the new compact case, and this is the old fat case. Don't like it, I don't like the way they've marketed it. Um, it's still good, it's still gonna come in useful, and all right, the size isn't a deal breaker, but if I'm ordering a new case for my Hero 3 Plus Black, I expect to get a new compact case, not the old one that this just happens to fit into. So I think they should say that this is maybe a version one case, and when they bring out a version two case, you can, are they gonna send me one? Are they gonna send me an updated one? I doubt it very much. In fact, GoPro, if you're watching this, are you gonna send me a new case when you bring out the new slimline one? Let us see. Anyway, that's the rant over. That's why I did that particular product first. It's still a great product, but I wanna show you a couple of new products that came out alongside the Hero 3 Plus Black. This is one of them, new tripod mounts. Now I did a video where I showed you how you could use uh, another mount from a different manufacturer to mount your GoPro camera onto a standard tripod. If you haven't seen that video, I will also leave a link to that in the video description. And the GoPro tripod mount left a lot to be des desired, but they've brought out a new one. This is pretty much the same as the previous tripod mount, which to me is pointless. I didn't think that was very good at all. And this is the new one. It looks very, very simple, but basically you've got a GoPro mount on the top where you can slide in your normal GoPro, like so. So it slides in like so. And then on the bottom here, we have got standard tripod threads. Uh, they both look the same size. They're in different positions. Goodness knows why there are two. One would have been adequate, 
maybe this front one can be used for locating it. Sometimes on the tripod you get that little location uh, piece that goes in to make it point forwards. I don't know why there are two. Maybe I'm missing something, but as you can see, two tripod mounts on the bottom of there. So standard threaded mount. I've got a tri I've got a little, I mean, it's not what I'm gonna mount it on, but this is just a little Joby uh, Gorilla pod, and that should go into that thread. So there you go, it allows you to thread it onto a normal tripod. Now I might use this on my full size tripod, like what I've got my main camera on at the moment, and then I can do some nice panning shots, uh, some nice stationary shots as well with the GoPro. It's a fantastic camera, it's a very flexible camera. So the fact that you can mount it on a tripod is very good indeed. So let's take that off. If I can do this. There we go. It is not coming off very easily. There, that is off now. So that is the new tripod mount. And the reason I don't think this is worthwhile is because when you've got it up that way on a tripod, you find it difficult to get the correct mount to actually mount your camera on. This is a lot more useful, very, very useful indeed. And in fact, you get both items for, the, I think, the same price as what just you bought this bit for uh, previously. So good job there, so an improvement there. And then this is the next new item which is called the Jaws Flex Clamp Mount. Jaws Flex Clamp Mount. So let's have a look at this. You can use it just with the, the clamp itself by itself, it says on the back, or you can use it with the extending arm. So let's open this up. We've got a couple of little bits of tape on the side. Is this gonna be a nuisance to open? Yes, it is. It's gonna be one of those difficult ones. I really hate packaging sometimes. There we go, we're into it. So this comprises of two sections. We've got this really strong, God, that is strong. That is a very strong uh, clamp. Goodness, I've never seen something quite as robust as that. And then we've got this flexible arm. So again, you can use these separately. So let me demonstrate. So the first bit I wanna show you is this. This is the actual clamp and you can use this by itself. You don't have to use that extending sort of arm. And this is a very strong clamp. Look at this, look at the jaws on that. Very robust, look at that. Wow, that is so, so tight as well. It looks like you can actually, there's like a, a flap here. It looks like you can actually take this off. I don't know why you would do that. But anyway, this is for attaching to things like uh, railings or poles. Uh, Maybe you're out on location and you want to just grip this onto something. Maybe even grip it onto uh, part of a vehicle even. Uh, in the studio situation, you could grip this onto a lighting stand. And it's got the standard GoPro mount on the top. So again, you can put your GoPro on to this like so. Let's just do this. Clip it into place. And there we go, you've got the GoPro mounted on top of this Jaws Flex clamp. Very, very cool. Now, obviously, if it's mounted direct to this clamp, you've got to actually position it quite accurately because you can't rotate the, fa the way the camera's facing. So let's just take this off again. And we'll introduce this. And this is the extending arm. And the idea behind this is that you can attach this to the clamp like so and again very tight fit they do loosen up a little bit with use but that's in place now and now we've got this flexible arm much like a gorilla pod where we can flex this into all different positions and then you can mount your gopro on top like so there we go clipped into position so now this is a lot more flexible of course it's more flexible it has a flexible arm on it but now you can rotate this into different positions so if you've got the clamp a slightly different angle and you want to get your camera up right then you can do it sort of like this it even goes round to 90 degrees you could clamp something that way put this clamp on something and then have your camera still upright so a really, really good piece of kit. I can see 
myself using this a lot because it will allow me to get the GoPro Hero 3 Plus into lots of different positions. So what I've shown you here today, just to recap, the skeleton housing, which is for the Hero 3 and Hero 3 Plus, not a new product, very disappointed with that. The new tripod mount, which now includes this little thing, which allows you to mount your GoPro to a tripod. And then we've got this, which is called the Jaws Flex Clamp Mount. And this is the, my favorite out of all three of the products I've shown you today. Very, very robust, su superbly well made. I love the construction on this. And this is probably gonna be the most useful because it's gonna allow me to get this GoPro in all different positions. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly love the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black. I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more videos on the channel that I've created with this camera and with this Jaws Flex clamp mount as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one.